Right, let's start question 2.1. It says, Annex to A shows a restaurant seating plan for customers. As always, go and find the restaurant seating plan, right, in the annexures. So here it is. Obviously, yours will be printed out in a bit more clarity than mine, but that is the seating plan that we're going to use to answer this question. It says, use the information on Annex to A to answer the questions that follow. So it's all going to be interpretation from that plan. 2.1.1. Give one possible reason why this restaurant has so many windows, right? How do we notice so many windows? Well, these are all windows, right? So do you see that there's windows all around, like lots of different windows? So what we're going to say is we're going to say, okay, or um, we're going to say, okay, 2.1.1. Why does the restaurant have lots of windows? Lots of reasons, right? You could say natural light. Um, it could be for the view, it could be for fresh air, right? It could be any of those reasons. Just write it out slightly more um, detailed than I have. You can say to let in natural light, to have lots of fresh air, to so, so that customers can see the lovely view. So just be make sure, just be make sure, <laughs> just make sure that you are writing that out clearly. Okay, let's get to the next question. 2.1.2, it says calculate the maximum number of chairs available for customers, right? So we're just literally going to look at this and count the number of chairs, okay? Now, there's many ways you can do this. You could literally just go and tick them off, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them. I'm going to say, okay, let's look at all the tables with three chairs. So that's got three chairs, that's got three chairs, that's got three chairs, that's got three chairs, that's got three chairs. How do we know? One, two, three, right? So there are five tables with three chairs. So I'm gonna say five tables with three chairs, okay? Let's do all the ones with four chairs. One, two, three, four. Over here, five, six, seven. So there are seven chairs, I mean, seven tables with four chairs. Okay, we're doing well. Let's make sure we account for all our tables, right? So over here, there is one table with two chairs, right? These don't have two chairs, these ones at the bottom, they just have one chair. So there's six of them with one chair and one with two chairs. So I'm gonna just write both of those at the same time because it's not too difficult. So I'm gonna say there is one table with two chairs and there are six tables with one chair, okay? We haven't accounted for all the tables. The last table we have left is this table over here, which is a six seater. So I'm gonna say there is one table with six seats, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the calculation here. You should be able to do all of these because it is just times tables. If you can't, don't stress, right? Put it into your calculator. So all of those, and I need to add all of those together, okay? So let's add them together. 15 plus 28 plus 2 plus 6 plus 6. So the total number of chairs is 57 chairs, and we are done there. Okay, so you see that a lot of this is actually just interpreting what you see, right? So it's not too difficult, but we need to make sure that we are actually answering what's being asked. 2.1.3. Determine the number of seats directly facing the wall on the south side. Okay, now you, the biggest thing when you see a question like that is you say, okay, where's the south side? First thing you do, you scan this. You say, is there a north arrow somewhere? No, there isn't. But there's this little sentence down here. It says, the main entrance doors are on the south side of the building. Where's the main entrance doors? They're there. So this here is south. Okay. What did the question say? It said, determine the number of seats directly facing the wall on the south side. So how many seats are facing this wall? Well, I'm going to get a little highlighter just because that can help me visually see what's going on. And let's look. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? So all of those chairs are facing the south side. So you literally are just interpreting that by looking at the picture, okay? So the answer there is simply just 13 chairs, right? And we move on to the next question, right? 2.1.4. Give, give one reason why the restaurant has couches at the entrance, right? So over here, there's some couches. Now, if you've been to a restaurant before, especially if it's a busy or popular restaurant, often you have to wait for a table. So these couches are for people waiting for a table, okay? So you can just say, for customers, right? For customers waiting for a table or waiting to be served. 
Um, well, waiting for a table is probably the best English, right? Because you can be at a table and be waiting to be served. So they're waiting for a table and it's just somewhere for them to sit. Right, almost done with this video. Let's keep going. 2.1.5. A person at table 18 leaves her seat and walks towards her friend at table 4. She uses the arrow path shown on the seating plan. Use the compass directions to describe her path from table 18 to table 4. Okay, so let's just see where she's walking. Okay, table 18, here's the arrow. Table 18 to table 4. So, we know that this is south. That's going to be north. That's going to be east. And that's going to be west. So, she walks east. She walks south. She walks east. That's literally what you need to say. Right? So, you would say... Walk east, walk south, walk east, okay? So obviously you could say it in slightly more detail, right? But effectively that's where the marks are allocated. So it's walk east, then you're going to turn and walk south, then you're going to turn and walk east, okay? So that's what's required from that question. Let's go on to, oh, sorry there. Let's go on to the last question where it says, Norma claims that there are less than 21 tables for customers in the restaurant. State with a reason whether her claim is valid, right? So again, you have to say, is it valid or not? Well, let's look here. Okay. We do see that there are 20, there's a number 21. So we would think that there's 21 tables, but let's check if we got all the numbers. Okay. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there's no 13, right? It goes 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now, it's a superstitious thing, right? The number 13 is deemed unlucky. So often restaurants don't um, have a table 13 or they don't have a table with 13 um, chairs, etc. just to stay away from the number 13. So here, yes, Norma is correct, right? Because there's only 20 tables because there's no number 13. So you say yes. Yes. She is correct and then what you say is you say there are only 20 tables as there is no table number 13 and that is us done with this question okay so a little bit tricky um but a question that you can really score really well on okay let's go on to the next question